Hey guys, it's Alex. I'm here to review the last book I read, which is One Moment One Morning by Sarah Rayner. This is an adult women's fiction novel that follows three women who are on a train one morning when a man dies. Karen is traveling with her husband to sign the papers to buy a new house when he collapses beside her and dies of a heart attack. Lou is on the same train car as Karen and her husband and witnesses the death. And Anna, Karen's best friend, is on the train in a different car and winds up sharing a taxi with Lou as they both go to work after the train is stopped. The book then follows all three of them as they get to know each other in their different capacities, mostly as Lou sort of becomes a part of Karen and Anna's lives. I gave this book three stars. I really struggled to get into it for the first about 200 pages. It got a little bit better for me later on but it was still the kind of book that I never felt compelled to read. At any point I could have put this down and been completely fine with being distracted from it and I really only finished it because I'd been reading it for a little over a week and was still less than a hundred pages in and I just sat down one afternoon and said I'm gonna read this, I don't care if I like it or not, I'm gonna get through to the end. And ultimately, I was really glad that I did finish it because it was a solid book, but I definitely struggled with it holding my attention. Overall, I did like the story. I was interested in all the characters and the way their lives intertwined after that one mo morning on the train, but it felt awfully contrived and almost a little superficial. Like, the emotion was there, but there was so much more she could have done with the story. These characters were experiencing grief and struggling with bad relationships and their sexuality. And it all sort of felt like it just barely scratched the surface on how far she could have gone. For a lot of the book, I was logically experiencing the emotion without feeling it as strongly as I really would have liked to. That being said, it did make me tear up in one part when Karen's small children wanted to give their favorite toys to their father. I was, I had, I had some tears in my eyes there, but that was the only part in this whole book that centered around grief that really made me feel anything strong emotionally. The rest of it was just there. Another thing I struggled with in this book that sort of kept it from being so good for me was the character of Lou. I really liked Lou on her own and I liked her story, but at times it felt like she didn't quite fit into this book. Karen and Anna were off in their own world a lot of the time, like their lives, they were best friends before this, they already knew each other and they were interacting, but Lou was sort of the odd man out a lot of the time and her storyline was often completely separate. And I did really enjoy her storyline, it just felt like two different books a lot of the time. Like she was a minor character in Karen and Anna's story, but her own separate story was going on that didn't fit in with Simon and what was going on with his death. And it just made it feel like there was too much going on in this book. Because this was a 400 page book, which is a little bit long for women's fiction, but not that long. And it just felt like it was a novel combined with like a novella. But honestly, Lou probably was my favorite character, and she was the one that felt most real to me, that I most connected with. While Karen and Anna were both dealing almost exclusively with Simon's death and Anna's boyfriend, Lou had a very different storyline. She was a counselor at a school for children who'd been expelled, or excluded as it says in this book, but I believe that's a British term, because this is a British book but she was a counselor at a school for kids who'd been expelled from their normal high schools. And she was also dealing with her sexuality because she's gay but not 100% out of the closet and her mother doesn't know that she's gay and her mother, she and her mother have a very poor relationship and her mother is quite manipulative. The story kind of, her story follows her sort of dealing with this relationship and wanting to have a better relationship with her mother and I really liked that on the surface, but that was one story in particular that although it interested me more than the rest of the book, it felt incredibly contrived and superficial. Like that above anything else, I just, I really did like it on the surface, 
but it felt like there wasn't anything deeper there. The last critique I have for this was that the storytelling itself was often a bit hard for me to get through. There were flashbacks with, throughout the story of the characters remembering things that happened weeks before, months before, years before, and none of them were labeled, but they were all told in the same third person present tense as the rest of the story. So frequently I'd be a page or two into these flashbacks before realizing that it was a flashback. If Karen was at the grocery store, she'd be talking about how she was buying extra clothes and presents for her kids that were like spur of the moment things and went home and was going to give them to her kids and Simon was there. And I was like, oh, this is a flashback. I thought this was happening in reality. And, and that was frequent throughout this story. But overall, even with all those critiques, this was honestly a really sweet, enjoyable read. Like once I did get into it and once I did like sort of, I had to force myself to care, but once I did care, I did really like the characters. I was interested in them and their lives. I really wanted the best for them. Like this was always going to be a story that had sort of a happy ending. Like it's women's fiction and the way it's told at the beginning, it starts out sad, but you just sort of know everything's going to be okay and everyone's going to like cry and hug and be happy eventually. At least to an extent that her husband has died. It was honestly really sweet. It was enjoyable. I really don't think this is a story that's going to stick with me. It earned three stars. I liked it, but I didn't love it and this isn't a story I'm really going to remember in a few years. If you're looking for something that's like women's fiction, easy to read, maybe dealing with grief or sexuality, and you just happen to pick this up, I'd recommend it. I feel like it was worth the read for me, but I really wouldn't go out of my way to suggest this book.